Hey, Overlord, it's me, Dreg. In this transmission, I decided to play with this toy. But first, welcome to my 100 subscriber extravaganza. Extravaganza. Featuring fancy voice work. Fancy voice work. And time lapses. Gratuitous time lapse. Guest starring new music. New music. Introducing a brand new build. Brand new build. I decided my car was a little boring, so I'd turn it into a hovercraft. I picked up this car a couple months ago. Planned on making a video out of it, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. Then I decided to do what I do with most of my toys and I get frustrated. I broke it. The other three tires came off just fine. This fourth one was giving me fits. I began this build like you should begin every build, with a thorough sanding. I decided these tires look better sideways. So I glued them in place. Gratuitous time lapse. You may be asking yourself, why? The answer is simple, because I can. I took this tubey fidget, smashed it sideways to give it some weathering, carefully measured it, cut it, measured it to make a second one, and cut it too. Then I glued them in place to make overly big, ginormous, muffler pipes. Like that. I think so. Yeah, put a, a pipe right there. Yeah. I took some bendy straws and cut off the bendy part. Inside the axle are empty voids. I figured the straws bendy part would make great anti-gravity repulsor coils. After the first two were in, I thought, hey, that looks good. I'll do that for the rest. Gratuitous time lapse. I took a mac and cheese box, cut it apart, and glued little panels onto the fenders. 
and anywhere else I thought needed a patch job. Gratuitous time lapse. My vision was to make a well-used hovercraft. My reasoning behind this is twofold. One, I love cyberpunk. Two, if it is rusty and gross and well used, it hides the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. I measure some of this plastic conduit and use it to cover up a seam in the body of this car. When I measure, I tend to cut things too short. So I added a little bit extra. It came out just right. Gratuitous time lapse. I use this cord from a charger to add a little bit of detail to where the hook cap should be. I use some of that leftover conduit to make some very technical, functional hovercraft technology. Gratuitous time lapse. Insert some sort of sci fi hovercraft technical jargon here. The conduit reads as steering linkage or something that is very integral to the workings of the hovercraft. It gave the overall build as looking more complicated than it actually was. I doubled up the conduits in back. It gives the illusion that the back tires are more powerful, kind of like the back wheels on doom buggies are larger than the front wheels. The engine on the back of this car needed a little work, so I broke out some spare bits to see what I can find. I found this piece that fit perfectly, and it looks like some sort of cyberpunk futuristic engine. My building area has gotten kind of cluttered, so I went through to clean out some stuff, and I found these. These are a leftover from my first build. I use these to add a different feature. Something looks very technical and functional. I use this straw from a squirt bottle to add a little bit more texture, some more features to the front wheels. I use this bit of charging wire as a kind of seal around the cockpit hatch. The orange piece hides the fact that the wires abruptly end. When I am not actively building, or recording, or editing, I like playing around with music. I wanted a beat that was futuristic, and gritty, 
and dark, something that would fit into a cyberpunk world. Before painting, I added just a little bit more detail with some rivets. Painting. I primed it gray because that's the only color of spray paint I have. To make a rusty wash, I took these paints and mixed it with a little bit of water. Then I applied liberally. At this point in my build, the only thing I knew was that my build had to be rusty. I didn't paint the cockpit because I didn't know how to handle that yet. I knew I wanted some visibly raised rust, so I decided to try an experiment. I took some finely crushed ice cream salt, some brown paint, and some school glue, and mixed it all together. In the end, it turned out okay, but I had some serious doubts. The salt reacted with the paint and the glue and pulled all the moisture out of it. It resulted in a thick, pasty goop that bled water. I applied it in places where I thought that thick layers of rust would accumulate. I was prepared to scrape it off and start over. I let it dry for two days. It turned out okay. I mixed up a smaller batch of grime. I wanted this to be finer. I made out of baking soda, school glue, and paint. I like the way the second batch responded. It dried fast and hard.
I use this shade of Bohemi Blue to paint the body one cohesive color. Gratuitous time lapse. I was careful not to paint over the rust spots or the patchwork that I put on the body. I painted the metal plates a shade of green. All the parts I wanted to be exposed metal, I painted a granite gray. Then I went over all the gray parts with some gunmetal silver. Gratuitous time lapse. I used some of the gunmetal to go over the body and make dents and dings where the paint had flaked off. Then I used some silver and painted over all the areas that I put the gunmetal. Careful not to cover up the gunmetal. I was just adding a little bit of a highlight. I added several coats of silver to the windows in the cockpit. I made several different shades of dark wash to make highlights. Finally, I made a black wash, used a very small brush, and very sparingly added some black highlights. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe, and share. This channel is growing. Please help it to continue.
If you would like to help me as a creator or to say thank you for my incredible builds, I have set up a tip jar account. I will put the link in the description below. But more importantly, please subscribe. If you know of somebody who will enjoy my videos, please share it with them. I did not intentionally paint it the same shade of green and blue as in the original, but it turned out pretty good in the end. Overlord, did you like how this turned out? Let me know in the comments below. That reminds me, I still have yet to...